Okay, the coup should start in one day. Delgado's opportunity. The sounds of marching boots and screeching iron echoed through the streets of Lisbon. As the army marched on the paved ways of the capital, Delgado became increasingly delighted by the prospect of the near future. His plans were set in motion after Salazar's failure to properly solve the Angolan situation. The increasingly violent war that has been fought in the former Portuguese colony of Angola became a war despised by the populace and hated by the army. Few men opposed Delgado's proposed coup d'etat, which had been carefully planned and organized by himself and several other military commanders, including President Francisco Craviero Lopez himself. With support from both the inside and outside of the Portuguese government, Delgado had decided Delgado had decided that today was the day to execute his plan. The early morning sun had yet to reach Salazar's face when he was violently awakened by a couple of armed soldiers. His suspicion grew when the face of Umberto Delgado entered his room. Salazar did Salazar had no other explanation for him and his soldiers in his house other than an ongoing coup. Do not say a word, old man, Delgado said. I'm here to rid Portugal of a plague that has affected this country for several decades by now. Your fascist government and its lies, Salazar's suspicion, had now lost its doubts. Delgado's army was able to occupy the entire city of Lisbon in mere hours, officially ending the regime of Antonio Salazar. Several Salazar loyalists have already fled the country, expecting to find new life in Italy or Brazil. Delgado's junta now reigns as his next plan in Delgado's junta now reigns as his next plan is taking shape a stable return to liberal democracy obviously I'll dismiss you okay Delgado is now the prime minister of Portugal the Delgado coup during the early morning in Portugal, Delgado's forces were able to apprehend Salazar in his home in, in his house in Lisbon. Prior to Salazar's arrest, the Portuguese army was able to occupy the city of Lisbon in mere hours, capturing the heart of the Portuguese Empire. Several prominent members of Salazar's cabinet, such as Paulo Cunha and José Carvalho, were seized and killed by the army, effectively ending the Estado Novo, effectively ending the Estado Novo regime. Umberto Delgado has already declared his appreciation of liberal democracy, which he had been able to experience during his time in the United States, and his future plans for the Portuguese Republic, step-by-step -step strategy with the intention to return democracy to the Portuguese mainland. Delgado is also a fierce opponent of Delgado is also a fierce opponent of decolonization, and his ascension to power has guaranteed a peace treaty with Angola, a day Portugal will remember. Okay. Lembrai de grandes homens, sois descendentes, valentes, briosos. Obviously, I'll dismiss him. The days of Salazar are over. President Delgado has the authority and influence at last to keep a promise he made to the press when asked what he would do with the Prime Minister if elected president. His answer was very simple. Obviously, I'll dismiss him. Okay, so the war in Angola should end. Hmm. Or maybe not. Maybe I can still win the war. I don't know. So Fogo! Leva 
avançar! Quais são as ordens? Avançar! Ok, the Toronto Court is now at war with Croatia. Interesting. Is there any way to get to it, though? Probably a naval invasion, I guess. Passam nos sofrer. Pronto, senhor. Atenção. Continuem a atacar. The public trial of Antonio Salazar. Today, Mr. Antonio Salazar, former Prime Minister of the Portuguese Republic, has been taken before the judges of the temporary military court established in Lisbon. The process was rather long and drawn out as Salazar's appointed attorney tried every trick in the book to fool the judges into thinking that Salazar was not as guilty as they presumed. However, countless witnesses testified against Salazar, exposing the authoritarian crimes he was guilty of, such as criminalizing the opposition, holding fake elections, bribes, and using the secret police to suppress dissent. Salazar was eventually found guilty of all accused crimes and is sentenced to exile. His departure from Portugal has been arranged for tomorrow. Justice prevails. Let's go for disband the PIDE. You know, I'll go for the Washington of Lisbon first. George Washington is the American embodiment of freedom and liberty. General Delgado could become another despot of Portugal, and the wheel will keep on turning. But Delgado has not fear. But Delgado does not fear the thugs of Estado Novo. And he shall ensure Portugal is free, not just on paper, but in reality also. Quais são as ordens? Pronto para avançar. Peace in Luanda. Delgado promised peace in Angola when he couped Salazar's regime, as the unpopular Angolan war was the sole reason for Delgado's coup. Peace talks with the Angolan government have finally proven fruitful and have promised us peace in our time. Portugal will retreat from the former colony in Angola, but has gifted stability in return. A great compromise. So the war is over. Passam nos sofrer. Return of the opposition. With the return of democracy to Portugal, several opposition parties have also once again returned to the Portuguese Republic. Parties such as the PSP and the FSP were criminalized under the Estado Novo of Salazar, but Delgado's reforms have ended such tyrannical laws. While Delgado's supporters are nervous about the return of Marxist opposition, Delgado has assured them that the democratic institution placed by him would guarantee Portuguese freedom for decades to come. Welcome back. Okay, what's going to happen in Angola? Ordens. Oh, Quais são as ordens? Sim, senhor. Despreitar a luz do dia pela boca de um canhão. Formação. Pronto. Do some real organization. Sentido. Sentido. Pronto. Rastejamos como ordens. Com as portas em farrapo. Pronto, senhor. All right. Yeah, I'll declare war on Croatia. Okay. Sentido. 
Sim, senhor. E se eu morrer na formação? Ordens. Só quero ter por mortalha a bandeira. Quais são as ordens? Interesting. Okay. Pronto para a pensar. Eu acho que são as ordens. You know, actually, this is... Pronto para avançar. Pronto, senhor. No, this is fine. Sentido. Sim, senhor. Quais são as ordens? Pronto, senhor. Atenção! Pronto, senhor! There we go. That's better. Might as well appoint a new cabinet. As the head of government, I'll put Adelino da Palma. I'll put Adelino da. Okay, I'll put Adelino da Palma Carlos. And I'll put. I'll also put him as foreign minister. Or I could have put. I could put Francisco Peria de Moura as the uh, head of government instead. So apparently Umberto Delgado is president, yet still shows Lopez uh, or Lopez as president for some reason. That's got a that'll probably have to get fixed at some point in the future. Just a little oversight. Okay. And the current ruling party of Portugal is the PRP. I think that's, oh uh, yeah, Partido, uh, Partido Republicano Português. Portuguese Republican Party, okay. Disband the PID, the scum of the Estado Novo regime, can be embodied in one institution, the PID. For 20 years, this organization has stamped out, this organization has stamped on and kicked the Portuguese people down. None within the PID shall be safe from retribution. Right. Oh. Put Pereira de Moura as Prime Minister, as for Security Minister. I'll go with Joaquim Roja Ecuña. Or should I go with Francisco Salgado Zenia? I'll go with. I'll go with. Um, uh, Roca Ecuña. How did that happen? Oh, oh. oh okay. Um, okay. 
não queira ser fadista, e não queira ser fadista, quem não queira querer entrar. Como que abraçado ao fado amargurado, é que um ai sai da garganta que se canta, e por okay. que um ai que sai, o alívio que se tem, ai, ao I'll wait a little bit to replace um, Paul Macarlus, but for now, I'll go with, for my Minister of Economy, I'll go with... And you know, I'll just wait. I'm gonna put Eduardo Silva Correira, but uh, I'll just wait a little bit. Because I need, in order to finish this focus, I need more political power than 75, so I'm just gonna... Hold off on that for a little bit. So. Apparently Croatia is at war with Italy now, and the Russian Empire has been restored. How's Croatia going to be divvied up between Italy and the Toronto Accord? Interesting. So now Croatia is an Italian puppet state. And Italy is not in a faction. And... The Toronto Court is now at war with Serbia, which is landlocked, so that is going to be a little tricky. see something. Focus, introduce fair elections. The Portuguese people have had fraudulent election after election almost since the inception of the Republic. This trend is about to come to a crashing end. The people shall finally have their own voice and determine their own future unhindered and without fear of government retribution for voting the wrong way. And we'll get, in a, we'll get an event, the first election. You know what? I 
think I'm fine with my cabinet as it stands, but I do need some new military staff. Probably should have gone with this progressive university's focus before I overthrew Salazar. Interesting. I could always go back to an earlier save. Let's get on with these elections. The first election. With Delgado's promises of democracy came the promise of elections. Elections being an essential part in a healthy liberal democracy. were seen by many in Delgado's government as a serious gamble, as the growing power of the PCP could threaten Delgado's liberal PRP. However, Delgado had once more promised his partners and allies the stability of democracy. His democracy, established with blood, sweat, and tears, wouldn't fall to the communist menace, nor would it fall into civil conflict like the Second Spanish Republic. His promises, accompanied with his fame as a bringer of democracy among the people, have calmed many. So I'm going to go with Delgado's Liberals win, Cunial's Communists win, or Matus's Conservatives win. I think I'll go with Matus's just to mix things up. And I've never actually seen the AI go with Jose Norton de Matus as President of Portugal. But I do just want to see something for a second. So, I need to look at something. Why couldn't I do this focus before? Okay, I think this might be a bug. Let's go back to October 1st. See, this should be available, but like, it's not for some reason. Okay, let's do the elections again. I'll go with, um, I was thinking of going with Matus's conservatives, but I might stick with Delgado's liberals. Um, as uh, Matus is a bit old uh, by 1955. He actually died in 1955 in real life. But at this point in the game, he'd be 88 years old. So I'm not sure if we want... I mean, I guess we could have an octogenarian Portuguese president, but I think we'll go with Delgado. He's only 49 years old in 1955, and more than up to the task. But I'm gonna create a save file for the elections anyway.
create a save file here. So what happens if I press Cunhal's communist win? Well, Alvaro, uh, Alvaro Cunhal is now president of Portugal. And Portugal gets a new flag. And Portugal is now under a Stalinist-style communist government. But we don't want this to happen. We're going to stick with Delgado. But I'm going to put um, Francisco Pereira Jamaura as Prime Minister, so I'll have a Social Democratic Prime Minister. For some reason, the Social Democrats uh, aren't in the election, or as one of the options, for some reason. It is what it is. Maybe they can be added in later. Um, let's co uh, yeah. Let's continue. Okay, I could align with the Toronto Accord, but I need more political power. So I'll liberalize the market. Portugal's economic potential has been held back by Estado Novo, but now they are gone. Now Portugal's markets shall open up to the world. Let the boundaries of trade flow through our shores. Our trading routes are returning to us. Now I want to see the USA defeat... I want to see the Toronto Accord defeat Serbia, but that might not happen until maybe Serbia goes toward Croatia. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Okay, the Arab Federal Republic has declared war on Iran. Who will win, I wonder? Go away. Uh. What song do I want to listen to? I'll go with this one. Let me just get rid of that other notice. Okay. limit presidential power. The presidency has been used as a pawn by Estado Novo to keep Salazar's power complete and absolute. To prevent a repeat of this, we shall do what George Washington did so many centuries... To prevent a repeat of this, we shall do what George Washington did so many centuries ago. The presidency's power shall be curtailed. see the USA declare war on Bulgaria, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen yet.
Okay. Align with the Toronto Accord. With Portugal finally joining the free world, our international status has changed irreversibly. The German, the German Reich will seek to destroy us now. Therefore, we must align fully with the Toronto Accord, if only as a deterrent to German and Spanish hostility. Well, German hostility is no longer a problem, and neither is Spanish hostility, so let's continue. some new military staff. I'm going to go with uh, Adolfo do Amaral Abranches Pinto as my uh, chief of staff. Well, how was that canceled? Oh, okay. Well, let me try that again. do that just yet. I'll do that a little bit later. I could go with Vasco Gonçalves or Jose Manuel Betancourt Rodriguez. As, I'm sorry, let me get rid of all these notices. I don't want to go to war right now. As Chief of Army. I'll deal with that later. go with neutral peninsular policy, but see, this progressive university is focused. I should be able to finish, but for some reason there's a bug. So let me see if I can use console commands to fix it. Okay. Do I Okay. I can Now I can appoint some new cabinet ministers.
So this focus reads, the evolution of our universities is crucial to the continued development of Portugal. These students are the statesmen, architects, and designers of our future. A more progressive touch may encourage greater advancement. Okay, now we're gonna go for the battle against corruption. But first, well, I need more political power first. So I think I'm gonna go, let me just go back into focuses. There, everything is back to normal. I'm gonna save up some political power. First, I'm gonna go for neutral peninsular policy. Portugal has no interest in conquest, nor war of any description. The Toronto Accord also seems to want to respect these wishes with the condition. The Accord does not want to deal with our Spanish cousins, and it asks for representatives from Portugal to enter discussions with the Spanish government on a unified policy in the name of neutrality. Okay, there's been a civil war in you. Well, the Ukrainian civil war has already been going on for no, it just started because the Germans have been defeated. In Ukraine, I should say. Germans crushed in Ukraine. Excellent. Right now, I'm going to go through with this focus. The battle against corruption. As is the result of any dictatorship, corruption has had time, has had the time and the freedom to breed and develop deep within almost all frames of life. Our parliament, military, justice system, civil service, and so many other administrative bodies have decayed to the point of no longer being able to operate efficiently. President Delgado has rallied around him. All he can truly trust, for corruption is about to meet its match. Let me build some more civilian factories while I'm at it. Cadência certa, bem arrumado, soldado, garboso. 